Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to those that are already subscribed. Today I'm going to show my uh, design team project from hello, with, um, Louis Heinzel's digital kit and this is uh, from the uh, vintage birdie and I have her here so you can see where to find her whoopsie like that I'm gonna take like that yes sorry like this okay and this is the winter's birdie um I have been created this gift box, not gift box, but gift bag, <laughs> like this, and I used her digital paper as well, in behind, but you can't see it really, because I took the uh, white gesso on and stamp, and then some, um, uh, mud patch over top here. And then I did make some holes inside here. And I did the same on the front and took one of the biggest uh, pictures she had on her paper. And then I create this um, lovely charm here. Or should I call it... Um, <laughs> What's the name of it in English? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> but I have done it here as well. Let's take it out. It looks like that. I'm going to remove this one here. It's Tessels. That was the name. <laughs> and I have done exactly the same here. And I have been used some uh, paste with a stencil here, and same here. And I uh, distress the the edges all over here. Look at this fabulous thing. And the closer is two of those eye eyelets. So here. And let's take a look inside. I have a new setup, so I'm sorry if I'm going out of my uh, my uh, yeah the screen here. Okay, the first one I had here is I've been used the um, file folder I got from one of the other girls from um, the design team project. Not design team project but design team <laughs> oh yeah um and then I create the the cover here with a pocket in here and I did make a a booklet if you can call it like that and here you can write in it like this small papers inside and I created this one so you can write on here as well <clears throat> and this was from her digital kit and I've been created a little pocket here with those um, coin Coins she had made as well. There's four of them. And then I made this little envelope she has already created, but I have to fuzzy cut it. 
and a small bingo <laughs> and you can write on the back and I have been doing doing like this at that I have been um, used the coin to the closure so just in the behind and then I took some lace and some small bling bling here and I used the lace here as a pocket Gonna grab it a little bit like that yes okay um, as you can see no you can't see it here but I had some um, wet thingy on here so I have to um, remove it you can see it here so I had to put something inside so I've been use some mud patch on top of it and here there's a pocket in behind where you can write on and a little book again where you can write in and the little pocket here so you can write inside as well like that whoopsie oh yeah I have also put some some bling bling here with a closer I don't know if you can see it correctly I don't know and then I took this one here this is from um, uh, Nick the Booksmith it was a freebie she had and then I have been putting some uh, glue behind and then the the music paper on here so I can have it like this mm -hmm. and I've been using some stencils here and a little uh, yeah <laughs> then I created this one here as well and took some it's a butterfly <laughs> I uh, used a clip to hold it together so I can put it up here and then you could put something inside here like this if you like and it then goes here I would have done this as a pocket but I glued it together but this one is a pocket and I've been created this little sweetness here and then I took some paper and folded like this so you can put something inside here as well And I took this one here, whoopsie, I glue it up here and then you can take it out and write in it if you like. I'm sorry if my phone gonna ring in a, in a minute or two, maybe a little bit more, but my husband he didn't pick up his phone when I called him, so he's a truck driver so he's not that much so we are talking a lot together <laughs> and then I took her papers here as well and put some lace on and one more here and I have folded so it was a big pocket then I create this um, tag normally I will have put a blank paper here but yeah doesn't matter that you can see where where you know, what you have been used it's okay and again mud patch first I did 
put some uh, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh my god it's queso first then I took some of this crayons from Tim Holtz and then I took a rice paper and then I used the Mud Podge on top. The same goes here, but not the Mud Podge here. And here is the same pocket as before, but turned around and I didn't glue it. And here's a, a tag and another tag. And a little bling bling again. And here it's a funny packet. It goes like this. And this is a little little one here. You can fold out. And you can fold it out to the other side as well. Here is a um, side pocket, or what you can call it, tuck spot maybe, um, with her bird on some holes paper here, and some lace down here. And this frame here is from uh, Tracy Fox Creations, I guess. And then I made this little postcard. And here now you can see the layer, and I like that a lot. Here a little pocket here and here. And a side pocket here. And a coin with the birdie on. See, you can still see the layers in here. I love it. Then I took a stencil. I bought this uh, stencil on uh, the grocery shop I have next door. It's called Neto, and I love it. And here is a little pocket as well, with two tags inside. And again, one of those with a clip on, so you can put something inside if you want. A little note maybe, or what you want, like this. What? Come on here. And here as well. And another side pocket and more layers here. Like this. And then I have been created a little pocket here and that it, that's her paper as well. And that I used for the other design team project I did. It was Alice in Wonderland. So I have the leftovers, so I could use it. And here some small tickets or something. And lace. And clip. Okay, this one is a hard one. I can't take it out right now. It's stuck. <laughs> but you can write in, in the back on it. And a jewelry as well here. And a flip. So you can write inside here. And then I have been creating this one here. So you can write here and here. And this is coffee dyed paper I did for a couple of weeks ago. And the green team. <laughs> theme. Sorry, not team. And you can write in the back here. On this little funny thing. 
I had me a hole and use the punch here. And something you can write on. And I have been colored all the uh, laces on my own. All of them were white. So I colored them with um, Tim Holtz um, Distress ink. Not the oxide, but the normal ink. Same here. And then we have a pocket here. With two beautiful birdie, and we have a pocket here with a lovely birdie as well. And then I created a big tag for the lovely owl, and you can buy it in the back. And more space you can write on and here a little tag as well as you can see um, the first pictures like the first pages were mixed together with the colors then I took the theme on orange green and yellow because it it's what uh, it is in her digital kit so that was fun to play with. And a little pocket here. And there is some uh, vellum on. You can write in the back. And here is a tag as well. And again, you can see the layers inside here. And you can write on it. And a funny here. There's a little pocket here with the O. A pocket here. With a birdie. And some different birdies here. And a flower in the back. And a side pocket as well. And then we have this funny little thing here. You can open it up. There's nothing inside besides this paper here. See? So you can just take it up. Sorry about that. Um, so you can just open it and write inside. But I find it really funny to create it like this. And a little bow here, like this. Yeah. And that's the end. And in the middle here, I forgot to show you. I took the binding pieces here and put some... Um, jewelry on as well here so it looks like this in the front here oh yeah there's a pocket here as well I'm gonna put a, a big tag inside with um, some different things from from the book here um, so I can see what things I have been used and what I have been used to color and all that. But the tag is not done yet, but it will be. So there is only one um, signature inside and has a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve uh, A4 sides papers inside. So 
there's a lot of pages I had to <laughs> do something with. So that my design team project for this month. And I'm so sorry for the delay, but I'm doing a lot beside as well. I'm I have my YouTube channel here and I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. So I have to um yeah, find the time and I am teaching as well every Wednesday, but it's on Danish. Um but I'm I will make lots of videos on English as well, so no worries. Stay tuned. And thank you for uh, for watching and for being here. And if you're not all already a subscriber, please do so. Then I will be more than happy. And last thing, take care and see you around. Until next time. Bye.